Hello, Willow Creek fans. This is Tony. And Karen. And we're coming live. You don't usually always go Karen. You go, and Karen. <laughs> or how do you do that high-pitched voice? And Karen. There you go. See, See that you just messed the whole video up. Uh -huh. um, okay. Anyway, we are on Plentiful on Pinebrook uh, this week. And we wanted to do a video uh, to show you. Two videos in a row. Two Tony Visions in a row. That's true. Um, but we wanted to show you what plentiful really means <laughs> because uh, you are going to see if there, if you can't find something in this estate, um, then I don't know what to do for you because oh, no. there are so many styles, There's so much items, yeah, just a lot here. But um, l let me go ahead and tell you that we're going to change our hours on Thursday, make it a little bit longer. So Thursday's going to be two to six and then Friday will be 10 to two. And of course, Saturday's eight to 12, which is our half off day. So I got that out of the way, so I don't mess up at the very end and Karen said I forgot. Um, but anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and get started. So I'll let Karen show you this foyer piece uh, that's done in gold and marble. Um, it's really beautiful. And then we've got, uh, I would say, probably bohemian pieces here um, that are a set and they match. Uh, two of them do anyway. And the other one we just added and several clocks, crystal and uh, nice clocks like that, but we'll start off in the living room and I'll let Karen start showing you for those people that love Victorian furniture and we've already had several to uh, even send us messages about it. Uh, we have a lot of Victorian furniture and you can also see we have the marble tables to go with it, which was the same look from that period. I love this piece over here. Um, if you'll see, it's got a little dog um, oh, carved really into pretty. it. Um, it's a very classy piece, I guess. Um, very stylish. And, and you all see on the on the woodwork on some of these pieces, the woodwork is stunning. Yeah, it's got a lot of the roses carved in it and things like that. So we have two more little pieces here. And of course, Karen can show you another Victorian piece there as well. It's all, um, it's all, the, all the set. So we have two chairs, a sofa, and, and sorry, I'm probably making everybody drunk. And it spinning loves. around, but yeah. yeah, it's it's a really nice um, set of furniture. So I think we can go on into the dining room. Um, this is one of three dining room tables that we have in this estate. We have uh, one in another room, one downstairs as well. So if you look over here, we have a lot of silver plate. Uh, if you need any type of silver plate whatsoever. And then uh, we have a set of china. Do you remember the name, Karen? Oh, yeah, it is Carlton, made in uh, Japanese. So we have a large uh, set of china in this pattern. And then- Now that's a different pattern. It is? Oh, it is. Yeah. It is. You're exactly right. And that's similar. Um, we have that a lot, but I can't. Yeah, it's a uh, Diane. Yeah. Yep. So we have uh, two sets then. And then over here, we have tons of glass. We have crystal, lead crystal, bowls, anything that you would need in, in glass. But wait folks. <laughs> yeah, this is the first room of this. This is the first room of stuff. Um, so we're getting ready to go into the kitchen, but we actually had uh, two kitchens in this estate. So this is kind of a house on top of a house. Yes. Um, then these are Florentine tables, if you're into the Florentine look. And then we've got a set of silver plate. Um, uh, we have multiple. Flatware. We have a set there. We have a set there. We have a set over there in the floor. Yep, there yeah, it is. We have a lot. This is Rogers. Um, so we'll go into the kitchen. I guess we'll start this way. And um, you can see we have some corning ware there. Um, and then lots and lots of uh, utensil, I mean, uh, appliances here. Uh, a lot of these look like they've never been used. Um, and some of them actually came out of boxes, so we have those. And we have a little Disney Instapot that I've yeah. never seen before. I've never seen it either, but I looked it up online, or we looked it up. And then we'll just head into here, and I'll let Karen go in, and I can chat about it. So we do have a washer and a dryer. We have a newer uh, dryer, which is a hot point, 
and an older washer. And I don't know the name on that one, do you? Mm, I don't remember it. Yeah. Um, and then Karen's showing you we have plastics. We have tons of cleaning supplies in here, folks, um, in this estate. The first room of cleaning supplies. Yes, first of many. Yeah. And then we'll come back out here and we have a lot of coffee makers in this house. Some of them are brand new in the boxes. Um, we have utensils here, silverware, glasses, shot glasses for those who like shots. We have uh, quite a few of those. And then coming this way, of course, our usual with uh, coffee mugs, our soup bowls, you know, we've got Pyrex. And then right here we have some vintage Pyrex for those collectors um, in the different styles. So um, Snowflake, for example, there, the wheat pattern. And then we do have a little bit of food, spices, foods, things like that. Um, so we, we have, have a little bit of the Pioneer. We do. Yeah, this is a Pioneer I'm area sick. right here. Uh, quite expensive. Um, and then back into another room with Victorian furniture. Um, this was probably a reproduction um, out of that era to show you how you could do it a little bit differently. So it doesn't have the hump chairs as well. And I'll let Karen show you. Over here we have uh, pink depression glass. So we have some of that <clears throat> in this estate. And then this is actually a curio cabinet, a very unique style. I'm sure it's been handmade by someone for uh, this house. And, and, <clears throat> and we have it loaded. Um, so please um, be careful if you're getting something out of there. And that is actually not glass shelving in there. It is plexiglass. Very good. And then we have more of the marble tables. Uh, we have here the harp table. Um, side table or console table. Once again, a love seat to match the sofa. You'll see we have some of the what they call like gone with the wind type lights um, through this house. Uh, this is a really cute desk uh, with a. It I is really green. Call it a mid. Well, they covered this chair to go Match, with the desk. Yeah. How cool. Um, so once again, we have another dining room set here. It's got a Formica top for those people who don't like scratches and another set of china. And I don't think, uh, I want to say this one doesn't have a name. It's just a uh, made in Japan. <coughs> Metlock. Huh? Metlock. Made in Japan. Oh, made in Japan. And made then we have another, a, another <laughs> uh, Victorian sofa here. Um, really nice. And so if you're I doing think, boutiques or photography or... Um, or if you have a house from that period. Yeah. 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 If you're restoring something. Um, and this is more of an East Lake period coming out of the Victorian period. Um, and I would assume that this did not go with this and they just reupholstered everything at the same time. Uh, we do have a TV there. And then I'll let Karen show you this actually goes with that dining room. So it's the China Hutch. So um, you can, if you're looking for both pieces. And then we have a lot of mid-century modern in this house of items and it's sprinkled throughout. So if you like that look, um, we also have some carnival glass in here, one of the little hens. We so. have a lot of uh, mid-century barware. We do, we have it, some of it right here. And then, of course, I don't know if you showed them those mid-century pieces, those vases there. They're those are good. always popular. Very popular. And with that, we're going to head down the hallway. So we'll go into bedroom number one. And in this room, uh, we have if you love this ornate type furniture, um, well built, probably from the 70s, um, we have uh, two bedroom sets, very similar to this. The gold or ornate type mirrors, more of the gone with the wind style type lights or lamps. And then we have a sewing machine. We do have a sewing section downstairs. We have lots and lots of ladies clothing in this house. So, um, and it's like um, large to extra large, I believe. Lots of it. 
Um, and then here's our linens and right over here we have suitcases and then we have more suitcases in the closets. I would say we probably have 10 or 15 pieces of suitcases yeah. uh, in this estate. And uh, we'll just head this way and then come back. So we have more linens right here in the um, hall, really um, wide hallway. So this should be a great sale to get around in. So we have another uh, bed, um, very ornate carving on this uh, bed here. Um, so if you like that look, um, very heavy looking. And then we have more linens here. Um, these are like throws, uh, blankets, some quilts, things like that. Once again, we ran out of room, so please make sure you look in the drawers because we have clothing in the drawer folded. Um, so it was impossible to get another table in here. Um, You've got the dresser um, that goes with this bed. Several, well, quite a few of um, jewelry boxes in the estate as well. And then we have another gilded gold uh, with the uh, marble base on it um, for here. A lot of entryways. And then typically, I, well, we won't go in there, but you all have to go in the bathrooms. They are full of anything you can think of brand new lotions brand new soaps and shampoo, uh, shampoos and shampoos skincare and and it's a variety so you whatever you might like um we have lots of ladies shoes and like i said uh, we do have a lot of ladies clothing in this estate and then we have a lot of hats different hats we have a couple of cowboy hats up there as well so let's head we do have some men a little bit of men's clothing we probably have very little 50 brand new shirts still in packaging um in, yes. in this closet size large i believe and then a lot of suits probably 10 to 15 suits maybe. i believe so yeah um and i'll let her glance in yeah. here so you can just get an idea of how yeah. how many items are in the bathroom that's one table yes and then we'll go into our electronic room um in here we have uh books and you might want to show them our telephone table of all the different telephones we have here. We do have uh, some, um, like some music items or instruments, things like that, carrying cases that you can do with those. We do have a couple of turntables. Let me, um, so all of this underneath in these cases is karaoke, karaoke equipment and sound equipment. So for like professional, you know, it's not like, stay at home on a Friday night and do it's it's go out <laughs> it's go out and party do somewhere okay. it, um, it's nice and like I said we had turntables and then we have our general office supplies that we typically have in a state um, some more you know like a nice little storage bins I would say we probably have a hundred scissors in this estate we have more downstairs <laughs> so if you need a pair of scissors then we have it's a lot. We have the adult um, therapy coloring books. Um, there's probably 50 here. We probably have 25 sets of coloring pencils. Um, and then we have, I think, maybe three printers in this estate. So um, we have um, Epson, which is a good brand. Several of those. We have another one over here. We actually have a couple of computers here. Um, and then about any type of this goes really with the karaoke, right? Some of this uh, stuff? No, that's all just um, chords. chords. All, we have all of the, I believe we have all of the karaoke chords are actually in the, in okay, the cases. Okay, good. And then we have a large collection of albums. Um, so we a have lot, here, lot. here, and then we have some more on the bottom shelf. And we do have 45s. Another stereo. Um, system here an older one you got a turntable that goes with it uh, more ladies clothing we do have an underwood typewriter here as well and a filing system and so. a little bit of native american um items up top here okay so we're going to head uh, downstairs and let me forewarn you that we actually have a lift on these steps and the steps are wide so you're going to probably have to walk next to the lift to get down the steps. It's a little bit of the same situation we had last week where there's, it's open to the to the room and no rail, so be careful. 
a little bit wider than last week though. So if we read out a kitchen stuff upstairs, I just wanted to let you know. Yeah, let me just that you're let me just okay. pan over here. I'm sure if you all looked at the 300 pictures that are online, you yeah. know. If you know, you know. So we have more appliances. We have more corningware. So if you didn't get enough bowls upstairs, we've got plenty downstairs here. We've got Fire King, um, more uh, cooking. If you like to cook this with is glass. all glass, yeah, that's yeah. what I was going to say. If you all like to cook cookware. with glass, we actually have that. Tons more of coffee mugs, glasses, anything that you might need. Um, more coffee mugs up here. Um, another set of, is that the same set? Yep, part of the Diane set upstairs. We just didn't have room for it. Um, and then lots and lots of pans and these are good ones yeah i mean they're, they're like really new. heavy yeah they're like new yeah just be careful with these shelves they're a little you know they're a little shaky i know that for a fact so um. we have more glasses more baking yeah. items here we do have a little bit of right our, our what am i saying cast, cast, cast iron. iron oh my first one <laughs> that lost me for a moment <laughs> um and i think do we want uh, to you want to finish this? this? Yeah, we can. Yeah, because there's just so much. And, I, and so just, let's just take a minute. And like, our people are rock stars. Yeah. They did a really good job. This was this. a lot to set up here. Yes. Okay. So we have uh, more glasses. We have more utensils here. Tons of silverware. So if you need a set of silverware, we have it in this estate. Multiple. Multiple sets. Yeah. Um, nice little punch bowl there. Um, over there at the fireplace, we have decor, and I believe we have several heaters, portable heaters throughout this. Yeah, these, estate. Uh, these electric fireplaces. We have one, two, three, four. We have a lot. And uh, then we have this nice, um, I would say probably from the 20s, a uh, nice little secretary here uh, done in oak. So, uh, and it's got a little bit of damage on the bottom that I think you could you fix probably, it. Yeah, restore finish, something like that with it. And then this is what we're calling our sewing room. So we have the waterfall vanity here. It's kind of cool. Uh, we do have several sewing machines here. This is a Singer sewing machine um, that we have, a vintage uh, sewing machine. And then uh, we have the waterfall bed here and then over here is a sewing machine that's in the box i'm sure it's been used but we do have that sewing machine along with some more sewing items more scissors folks and then and this sewing machine is actually sitting up here uh, we actually have another one inside here another waterfall um shiffero is that a shiffero mm -hmm. maybe it is and then some more clothing in here, um, a dehumidifier, and then we actually have another sewing machine. So what is that? Like one, two, three, four. Plus one upstairs. Five. Yeah, we've got a lot of sewing machines. <laughs> <coughs> um, and also there, are we going in the bathroom down here? There is a, and we, we don't have to, but there is a ton of medical equipment. There's a, a walkers, lift, lift and walkers yeah. and crutches and all kinds of stuff. Um, so in here we have a few vintage toys. Um, we have this little rocking monkey or something. It's a little creepy. I don't think it's kind of cute, but I think it works uh, if I remember. And then uh, a few vintage toys, nothing major. Some more silver plate over here. We do have two cedar chests, uh, a chest and a dresser that probably, if you're looking to paint some furniture for a house, it'd be perfect. It's pretty scratched up, uh, but you may be able to clean it up and, and do something with it. Um, some more decor items here. Uh, we do have another dresser here with the, with the mirror that goes with it. And then, of course, another chest of drawers um, and, and then a cabinet. Um, and we just placed that mirror up there for that. Little Christmas, guys, we don't have a lot of holiday decor. No, it's shocking. Very shocking. But we do have uh, quite a collection of dolls there. So, 
We will now go to another rack. <laughs> yeah, it really is a house on a house. It's two in one, folks. <clears throat> so in here, we have holiday decor. We have a coffee table. We have several end tables. We do have another um, dining room set at Duncan Fife, a uh, small one here. Uh, these are all with only four chairs if you're looking for something like a kitchenette type set. Um, we have some of the Anchor Hawking Green for those who collect that. A nice little entry table, um, entry chest there, or um, anything that you want to do with it, I guess. Some, uh, a pretty tiger oak table here. A little bar set that's kind of cool. Another little bar set. Um, so that's... That's kind of cool, and it's uh, of the world. It looks like a book. Um, a little vanity chair. We do have this. I, I it's got a mid-century modern type look to it. Um, stereo, I, I believe it is. Yep, I'm pretty sure. Yep, old stereo. And another turntable, folks. Uh, there was several books and several things in here about Elvis Presley. So if you're an Elvis fan, we have um, some of those in here. Do you want to talk about this clock over here? Oh, the mid-century yeah. star-like clock? I know you. Yeah, I love it. No, it's pretty cool. Yeah, for uh, Sirico, or Sirico, I think that's how you say it. I'm sure somebody will correct me <laughs> on the video. Probably Hannah. Probably. Um, and then in here, we have another table um, that you could put some chairs around. I don't think we have the chairs to go we with this not. one. We do not have chairs with And um, for those who like the Desert Rose, we have that. Um, a little collection of cars over here. Some more office supplies um, here. Filing cabinet, several of those in this estate. There's another one there. Um, binoculars. We have a wheelchair here, and we actually have one, two scooters, um, and another wheelchair. So, and we will, um, we'll have these plugged in um, to try to have them charged up. And but there are additional batteries, I think, with both of them. But just, I could just ride around in one. You could. Well, we probably could at this house for sure. Um, and then and more books right here behind this door. So don't forget to look there. Okay, in here. <laughs> if we didn't have enough pots and plant pans upstairs. So we have more, these yeah. are the aluminum. So if you like cooking out of that, we have this style as well. Um, we have our usual tools, wrenches, um, sockets, screwdrivers, Phillips, all that. And if you need a socket, we have a socket a, a in couple. this here. A couple. Tons of uh, socket wrenches. Uh, some more tools here, um, and then it goes on, folks. Um, we have some, you know, vintage tools here, some sanders, things like that, um, drywall, paint, or painting items. Mailboxes. Yeah, we have several mailboxes down here, old gas cans, um, if you need a cooler. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, we have about any size that you could use. Coleman brands. And know, some really cool least. ones that I've never seen before. Yeah, this is a cool one. Yeah. So, um, and over here we have some barrels. So if you like those for storage, um, some more crate, uh, some crates here. Thermoses, if you need a thermos for cold or hot, we have those. We have Stanley, Coleman. More cleaning supplies up here um, for those people getting ready to think about canning coming up uh, this, at, in the spring. We've got the jars here, some vintage blue jars. Uh, and then we've got a, a variety of old type tools, you know, apple pillars, you know, uh, meat Make grinders, them. things like that. Um, then more saws, um, tools here, several saws. Uh, we've got hammers, um, files, We've got about anything. We've got uh, toolboxes down below here. And then we've got your usual yard tools, a weed eater. Um, we just, gosh, there's just so much. Now, 
Where's David? <laughs> right. Where's um, David? I can't. This is a shop smith lathe. Yes. I want to say they could not get it to come on. I want to say that, but um, of course David will be the one to answer that. And then I have no clue what that is over there. It's just a big old piece of equipment. Okay, I'm with you. <laughs> okay, I don't know. I, I don't know what it is. This is where David plays, yeah. and we just let him yeah. play down here. Um, and then we have, um, gosh, if you need a chair, outdoor chair, for all those that leave your chairs here, yeah. we have eight I, I promise we've not been collecting them to resell, but we could sometimes because you yeah. all forget them. And then in the middle here, we have gas cans, tons of those. We have a little mower, push mower here. Um, Lots of outdoor yard <coughs> yeah. sprinklers. A lot of sprinklers here. Um, then an old ringer wash machine. I thought you were going to buy this for your house. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I was. Do um, spare time. More of the cast iron. We have the skillets. We do have a little cast iron stove here. Very heavy, so make sure you bring... Bring your friends. Or, uh, lots and lots of friends to carry this one. An old toolbox here. It's kind of cool. Um, we did price it with what's inside it so you get what is in there um that is a survey yeah a surveyor yeah um we don't have the stand that goes with it yeah, but we, we do. do oh yeah we do right there it is yeah i didn't see it most of them are not painted they're wood yeah i just painted that one okay and then i'll let karen oh, I, I couldn't reach it There you go. So in here, we've got flashlights, screws. Uh, we've got more hammers, um, more scissors. <laughs> we've got scrapers. We've got um, blades. We've got light switches. Gosh, we just got, here's some old vintage oil cans, or oil, ooh, grease guns, sorry. And then we've got tons of oil, and y'all know what oil is costing these days. So uh, we've got that here. Uh, we've got these heavy scissor pliers. We've got some old hubcaps. We've got one here, a couple for Ford. And gosh, we got a little back there. And then as you come here, we've got power tools. All these are quite old, um, and they're priced accordingly. We've got blades, saw blades. We've got just We've got a lot, an old vintage um, fan there. So um, we have a ton of stuff, but we're getting ready to end. So we'll go in the other room where the lighting's a little bit better. There's a little bit of fishing right here too. Yes. And 40, 40 brooms. Lots of brooms. So hopefully you watched me all the way through. Someone told me last week I was a little long. Um, I just thought y'all would like to see me in. You're longer today. Oh, am I? Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm going to button it up. How's that? <laughs> um, anyway, as a reminder, the parking here is pretty decent, but this is a, a road that ends. So basically, um, you know, but there's a road across the street. Now, it's a little bit of a hill, but I think everyone will be able to park. There's also an office building up there. I don't know if they'd mind you parking there or not, but it's not that far of a walk. It's not that far off Stone Drive. Yeah, and it's very close on Stone Drive, this house is. Um, so with that said, let me remind you, our hours are extended one hour, so we'll be starting this sale on Thursday, two to six. On Wednesday, we'll be doing, uh, Thursday, on <laughs> Friday, we'll be doing 10 to two. On Saturday, eight to 12, half off. Um, Anything else, Karen? Um, we can't ask some pricing questions. Obviously, there's too much here for us to even be able to remember, and this has been set up for a while, so we just haven't um, we haven't been in here recently to do this. This is our little snow project, so um, we just we just literally cannot remember all this. So, well, with that said, I look forward to seeing everyone um, this week. All right, see bye, ya. guys.